Well, hello, everybody. So March is Women's History Month, and so we are going to be talking about a big event that's coming up. Uh, this coming week, uh, it's going to be a community leaders and professionals gathering in Kent for a conference celebrating women in leadership. And so we're joined today by two incredible women, Keila Hall and the keynote speaker, Julie Wenna. Am I saying your names that's correctly? Correct. Yes. Well, welcome, ladies. Thank you. It's great to have you. you here. So first of all, tell us about this big event that's coming up. Oh, man, it's going to be amazing. We have Julie flew in from D.C., we have Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. From, <laughs> I'm from the East Seattle. Coast to the West Coast. <laughs> and we have several of our community leaders here, and we're going to be coming together with multi generations and multi cultures and really talking about women celebrating each other. That's what and it's going to be about. When you say different cultures, different professions, what's the purpose no, of this event? Of the purpose of this event really is to be able to celebrate women, for us to be able to recognize our gifts, our talents, and our abilities, and yes. be able to come together yes. and be able to really celebrate. I mean, we have keynotes coming in speaking about resiliency, mm -hmm. um, how you can not only get into STEM careers, but be able to sustain the sustainability for women. And Julie, what is the, what is the message of yours, your keynote? Yeah, so I think I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of storytelling and sharing your, your, your story and your personal testimony and what you've been through. Sometimes we go through things and we don't think about the impact mm -hmm. it can have on someone else if we share the story. What um, is your story? If you can, I, it's hard to tell us yeah, in 30 no. seconds, but what is your story that you want people to know? You know, I think my story is, you know, being a first generation Nigerian immigrant and the things that I've seen and I've experienced, um, you know, what being thorough, being confident, asking for help, these are the things that have helped me um, in terms of achieving, a, I guess, whatever certain level of mm -hmm. success. But I think also, um, you know, the power of mentorship mm -hmm. and women investing in one another um, and men I've had men invest in me yeah. as well and I've invested in young men and young women as well so I think we're really powerful collectively then we are separate I think we have a photo of you with former first lady Michelle Obama tell us about this yeah so I was an intern in her office uh, several years ago um, and I had the opportunity to work on her mentoring initiative, wow. uh, which is something a lot of people don't know. She doesn't do it to broadcast. She does it mm -hmm. because she wants to invest in young women mm -hmm. in the D.C. area. Mm -hmm. um, I got an opportunity to work on her, um, her policy initiative, Let Girls Learn, uh, joining forces, supporting our military families, and it was an amazing experience um, and really surrounded by some amazing women who I invested bet. in me. Do you have a hero? A female hero? I do. I know Who? it sounds as, 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 you know, my mom. You know, I know. I, mean, I, I feel like I everyone, say that. I think we all say our mom, but, you know, I just, you know, that woman is the epitome of resilience. You know, what she's mm -hmm. gone through, what she has seen, um, coming to a country that she did not understand, right? But somehow managing to raise two girls. For you. Yeah, yeah. yeah what so. about you? Oh, my mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice is my mom. I'm mm -hmm. a first-generation college graduate, five girls, one brother, and my mom sacrificed even her high school education to make sure that her daughters were able to go further and get PhDs mm -hmm. and get several master's degrees. Wow. Yeah, but outside of that, Maya Angelou. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Same here. Sure. Yeah, Maya Angelou. Sure. <laughs> wow, so uh, can women still register for this event? Yes, we okay. encourage you to register for this event. It's going to be in Kent. Um, at Denali Federal Credit Union, it's our sponsor, the International Brothers Electrical Workers. Go to the katiehallfoundation.org and you can get your tickets right there. You can go to also info um, at katiehall.com too for some tickets that we're going to be giving out. We'll put a link at yeah. katiehall.com. Ladies, thanks so much for thanks being here with us and for sharing later in this week. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.